Hey everybody, it's FHRC Brownie here, and believe it or not, this is actually my 10th, maybe 12th time making this video as you can see here, and um, I'll tell you why, um, but first of all, this is going to be my first time doing a commentary video while I make a Forza video kind of thing, and uh, this is not going to happen in all my Forza videos, so um, don't think that that's gonna be like, oh, why are you gonna be making, why are you gonna be talking while you're racing? Ah, that's not gonna happen too often. Um, so, but this is gonna be one of them. But anyways, the reason why that I've actually done this video 12 times and wasn't able to get a clean race is because what you're gonna see in this video is what I mean. Um, so I'm gonna be guiding you guys as I go, and, um, and I'll tell you why, and I'll show you the area where I mostly hit at. So what I'm driving here is a Rainbow Dash Ferrari F50 GT, one of the best handling cars here in Forza Horizon. One, and this the Ferrari F50 GT is a racing edition of the Ferrari F50. And the Ferrari F50 is a is the car that succeeds the Ferrari F40. And um, to be honest, the F um, the F50 is quite an expensive car, even the base model F50. And um, there, I did research on the car, and they're asking two million dollars for this car. Not not sorry, not this car, but the base model F50. So you gotta buy yourself an F50 F. -F and a base model Ferrari F50, yeah, we're gonna pay that much. Anyway, so as we exit off Interstate 70 East, eastbound, we enter our first dirt, dirt section. And now we have entered into Carson, which is not far from the Horizon Festival. And then as we, as we keep going through this strip of road, we're going to enter a fork. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn left on that fork. So as I turn left, we are now entering into Sidewinder. And uh, this is one of the part of the track that makes an F50 GT really shine, which is the chicanes. And a little spoiler alert, at the end of the Sidewinder, entering into Tunnel Charge, I'm gonna be actually accidentally hitting a car. Cause I was supposed to take the inner apex. So as we enter the first, first, uh, chicane successfully now we enter the second chicane very clean out there so I was supposed to take the car I was right here right here there you go see I was supposed to take the inner apex but unfortunately the car was in the way so um, I didn't see the car I didn't really see the car over there so I had to I accidentally hit it so now we enter Tunnel Charge, and as you can see over there, there's Darius Split and the Ferrari 599XX. It's a little bit rough here on the Tunnel Charge, but I was able to clean it up uh, once we've gone through the Tunnel Charge section of the track. And yes, Tunnel Charge is a separate track here in Forza Horizon. You will find it in both the multiplayer, uh, both the multiplayer street race lobbies and you also find it in your street race hubs in single player so now we're about to enter our uh, I believe this is our second dirt section yeah this is the second dirt section of Goliath and this this enters into Beaumont and then as we enter Beaumont we're gonna encounter a 90 degree turn here we are and get some air in there get to 90 degrees okay there you go not too bad. Now we're going to be entering one of my favorite parts of the track, the Beaumont Backslash. So as we enter here, uh, this, is, uh, this is the area where Ferrari F50 GT, especially drivers like me who drive a car like this, is able to hit a speed of about 100 miles an hour at that dip corner, which hence the name Beaumont Backslash. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get 100 miles an hour out of that part because due to the fact there was civilian traffic along the way and I wasn't able to execute it. So now as we pass that 90 degree turn I'm going to show you a little bit of a shortcut here in Bunker. 
I keep looking at Darius split on the screen and you will see him turn left. And look at the car as he turn as I turn left. Did I say I turn left? Yeah. Kinda of made a mistake there. But anyways, what you saw there is actually the shortcut to Goliath. So as you can see earlier that Darius Flint was was taking the scenic route where I was taking the dirt section of it. Or in other words, taking the shortcut. Now that, that's the most commonly done by a lot of a lot of Forza racers who race on this track online. So anyways, we are now into the rattlesnake. And uh, this is the part where I was actually got rough in there. As you can see, I hit a pizza cruiser. And then here we go, a little bit sliding there. And then I hit another car over here. At this part of the track. Right there. So I believe that was a Ford Taurus or an Audi A4. So, um... That was, that was a little bit too rough for me. That I didn't see that car coming. So, here we are into Interstate 76, heading eastbound. And then we're about to enter another 90 degree turn, which enters the bridge. And, and after we cross that bridge, there's no turning back. Basically, when you, once you pass that bridge, as you can see on the screen, there's no turning back. And here's why. What you're going to be encountering is the Kettle Hills Whiplash. And I'll show you the part, the whiplash part of this track. So as I power through around, around, uh, around this part of the track, we're about to enter a little bit of a straightaway. And it will start to swerve around a little bit, and then it will start to become a chicane. And that's the part where it's called the Boma, I mean not Boma, the Kettle Hills Whiplash. And I will, and I will show you it right now, right there, that's the whiplash. That chicane right there, if you cannot get the aim right, especially in a car like this, if you make a one simple, mis one stupid mistake, you're going to get whipped. You're going to get whiplash and you get wiped out and stuff. So, so um, I was able to execute around uh, Kayla Hill's whiplash, no problem, because I, like I said, I've been, uh, I've been used to this track for about two, two, three years now, and, uh, and nothing is really, really different about me. The only thing that you need to know is, if we're going to be racing Goliath with Darius Split, you need to keep in mind that you're going to be racing on public roads with civilian traffic, and it's not going to be easy as what you were going to be doing on an online match using this exact same track. So. After pain and suffering through the track, I was able to execute it, uh, execute a full lap. So as we enter back Interstate 70 eastbound, um, we have completed a full lap. So it wasn't pretty, but I was able to beat Darius Flint. And uh, be honest with you, it's it's not fun to do to do clean races on a track like this with civilian traffic so just keep that in mind and um, don't expect yourself to have a good clean race here